Well, first look, the polite. This is the first island, the main island, Honolulu. Check it out. Well, first look, Hawaii, Honolulu, and you're welcome by what? A rainbow. Yes, there are rainbows expected in Hawaii all the time, but the very, very first view of Hawaii is this, which you get when you exit out of the airport at Honolulu. So here we are. Our journey to three islands here begins today. So we couldn't get the window seats, so uh, I didn't see the landing or the island approaching. I didn't care for it. I said, you know what, let's have a first view when we exit the airport. And here we are. And there she's standing. Well, look at that. And let's see what we explore, what's coming next. And definitely there's a lot. Despite an exhausting 10 hours direct flight from New York to this Hawaiian island, these views take your tiredness away in a second. As you walk out of the airport building and further your journey into this Hawaiian island or islands for that matter. Sometimes called the gathering place, Oahu certainly lives up to its name. This third largest Hawaiian island is home to the majority of the Hawaii's diverse population. A fusion of East and West cultures rooted in the values and traditions of the native Hawaiian people. If Oahu is the heart of Hawaii, then Honolulu is its racing pulse. On our way to our very first destination, we came across more and more unmatchable serenity and scenery. Nature threw our way. Driving away from the airport to our very first destination was sobering. And there are rainbows everywhere and almost all the time. No wonder even the Hawaiian license plates have rainbow on it. Well, that was my very first thought until I found out of its real meaning and purpose, which is symbolic of the ethnic mosaic, which makes up the unique culture of this state. And that's why they have the rainbow on the plates. There are quite a few good lookouts in Oahu, but my favorite for the sunset was the tentless lookout where we headed straight from the airport. This is our first experience, first time in Hawaii and first exposure, first impression of Hawaii. This is where we are starting our journey from. This is the first island, the main island, Honolulu. Check it out. We are at this scenic view on top of the mountain and Tantalus Lookout is called. And this is, we, we, we are coming straight from the airport. We didn't have time. This is, was part of the, our, one of the event, one of the uh, things we wanted to do. But our flight got delayed and um, the sun is gone because this is more popular for the sunset. We missed it, but we still wanted to come here because for the rest of the days we were all packed. Couldn't come back, but check it out. 
The road leading up to the Tantalus Lookout Summit is a beautiful drive with many hairpin turns, therefore it's slow going on to the steep incline on the way to the top. A few things one needs to be very mindful of when parking at these sites in Hawaii is to never leave valuables in the car or in clear sight, as there are various signboards indicating high theft areas. And unfortunately, one incident occurred right when we were there. Uh, we'll be flying out of Honolulu tomorrow to the Big Island. And this is going to be the last sunset at Honolulu. So we are at the sunset point to see the sunset. The view is just spectacular. Tantalus Lookout is by far the best spot to watch the sunset if you want to enjoy a view of the entire city. It is on top of a 1048 feet hill and allows you to see inside Diamond Head Crater, the entirety of Waikiki and to the horizon line on the ocean. There's a huge lawn you can roll a picnic rug out on and watch as the sun goes down over Diamond Head Crater and the entire Waikiki region. This experience was magical. And if you choose to subscribe and follow me on my upcoming destinations, you'll learn that this was only the beginning.